Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make your forms in Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. Um, and it also goes the same with Macromedia. So, okay. First is we're going to insert a form. So you go to the Insert tab and go to Form and click on Form. And a red broken line would appear here. So this means that this is your form. I mean, the form area where you could insert your tables or anything you want to be present in your form. So first, we're going to insert a table. You could just simply go to Insert and click on Control plus Alt plus D. So let's try creating a table with five rows and two columns. Let's make a field, your field name, the address, the position, okay, so to add the text field, we go to insert, then go to form, and click on text field or text area. It doesn't matter, but if if we are going to create a text box for the name, you choose text field. So click on OK. And as you can see, the text box here is a little bit short. So we don't know if the user or the customer or the student or whatsoever type of person is going to create a form in your website has a long name. We don't know, right? So you're going to click on the text box or the text field. And in the properties, you would see there are single line, multi-line password, the character read, or the maximum characters. So let's just try putting 50 here so that we'll be sure if the user, if ever the user has a long name. So, okay. As you can see, the text box um, that happened to happen to be long, long hair now. It's more um, longer. So, in the address, we're going to insert a for insert again a text area. You're going to click on insert form, then click on text area. And click on OK. And again, as you can see, um, in the text area, there's a scroll box here. It's a scroll box. It's also a text area where you could put the address. Since the address is more longer than the name, so I prefer to use the text area since it has a long, um, I mean, a big space for inputting some information about the address. And for the position, let's try using the list menu. So just click on OK. Then, as you can see here, it's the, you don't have the menu yet. So, click on it. You'll see here the properties of that um, that list or list or menu. You're, go, you're going to click on the list of values. Then, add the item label. For example, student. Then click on the plus to add more. Employee. Or, um, for example, professor. So this is, this is just an example, okay? So sorry if I mess up. I'm messing up. I'm So let's add a button. 
go to insert then form then add a button click ok there you go the submit you could um edit the label of that here in the value it depends on you and the action here is submit form reset form you're going to choose but since this is your form so just choose the submit form for the action so let's try our form there see there's your form you're going to add your name your address here and the list or the menu you could choose yeah, and your submit button Well, you could edit your table, you could customize it, you could change the fonts, the colors, the backgrounds, you could add images, whatever. Okay, so make sure that, so just make sure that it's readable and it's pleasing to the eyes. So, um, wait, I want to share something. You can just um, simply um, add Let's delete it. Let's delete all of this. Yeah. You can just simply add a text field without label. Go to form, then text field. Because you can put a label here. See? You can just type name, then click OK. See? Here's the name that's the label and the text box so you could again um, edit the character with 50 there so guys I hope you learned from it and make sure to do your homeworks because it will be part of our project and yeah that's all good luck